Hello, my name is Gary Davis, and this is a quick New York Minute. Uh, in this example, this Max file, we're going to be focused in on this haunted house quite typically, and this is our main camera view uh, or shot that we're going to be doing. And as is often the case, you might have a light or even a daylight system way out in your scene, you know, super far away. And in this case, I also have the popular sort of dome over my entire scene. The problem with this is if I zoom in on my house and I'm focused in right here and I have to do all this, and I'm even doing it quickly with hotkeys, you know, and I get in on my house and that's all great. The problem ex exists that if you come down here and do this zoom extents, all your scene camera views, or your, sorry, your orthographic views just pop, you know, way back out. And if I even turn this into a perspective view and kind of do the same thing, you see that it's going way out there. And if this house is what we typically want to focus on, what we could do is actually just select the house or multiple objects, maybe the house and this tree right here. And I want to focus in on those. What I could do is then say edit, select, invert. So I've got everything else in my scene selected. And then under the display tab, there's this rollout here under the display properties called ignore extents. And what that's going to do, and if I just deselect everything in my scene, what that's going to do is when I do a zoom extents all, it's going to only focus me in on the objects that are uh, the ones that I've identified. So I don't even have to have this object selected to do a zoom extents to the selected objects. I can just do a zoom extents all and very quickly get into the objects that I'm uh, working on. So this is a quick New York Minute, uh, very handy, for, especially when you have things like daylight systems and huge lights and things like domes and way out beyond all the focus of your scene. So there you go, New York Minute.